Right, we're looking at um, drawing frequency diagrams uh, and that's with continuous data. So this is continuous data because it's heightened. Uh, so one group moves on to the next and there's, there's no gap between them. All right, so there you go. Now, first things first, this starts at 120. So I'm going to have to do one of these. That means the axis has been squashed up a little bit. And I'm going to have to uh, do something uh, a little bit funky with this axis because... Uh, now, what you do is 120 there, 130, 140. You do not right, put these groups in and put bars or anything silly like that. All right? This is continuous data. It must look like that. Okay, so each bit has, um, has it's on a line, as it were. So here we go. Uh, and then I'm going to have to go height in centimetres. Now, up the... Up the y-axis, it's going to have to be uh, frequency. It's always frequency. Okay, so that never changes. And do that in equal steps like you would do any graph. So we've got 5 there. We've got 10. It's quite difficult to read, actually, on this. But there you go. 15 and 20. Now, a frequency diagram. There's two types. There's what's known as a frequency polygon. Or there's just a frequency diagram. It's a bit like a bar chart, but the bar's touch this time okay so if I do um, this is a frequency diagram okay so that it goes there um, and then we've got seven for the next one where is it so, uh, seven goes there and then we go up to 15 they should be bang on the lines but because this is quite difficult to do get it really accurately because I've got one of those funny pens that writes on um, Right, so on the uh, iPad, and then we go up to a 5 there. So that would be a frequency diagram. That is a perfectly valid frequency diagram. All right, the one you might see, though, is what's known as a frequency polygon, where you put a cross. It, it sort of, don't do both of these on the same one, because you don't need to. Do one or the other, okay? But the cross must go in the middle of the group, and then you join up with a ruler. I can't use a ruler on the iPad, but um, there we go. So either one of those, the blue one is a frequency polygon, all right, and that's the more common one. But the red one's a frequency diagram, okay, which is perfectly valid as well.